there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the diamond stitch. This is a beautiful texture stitch that you can use for baby blankets, afghans, garments and accessories. Um, this is quite easy uh, to learn. It does look complicated, but it's not complicated at all. Once you get past uh, the third row, uh, it all gets a lot easier. So this is how it looks like. I always ha also have a white sample. Um, and let's get started. For this tutorial, I am using a run yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. You should use any yarn you like with a matching hook. The pattern requires you to chain multiples of 4 plus 3 chains. My starting chain is 23. Alright, so let's start with the first row and we will single crochet in a second chain from the hook and then single crochet in each chain across. And this is your first row and you should have 22 stitches in this row and from now on. So to start with a row 2, turn and chain 3 and this counts as your first uh, double crochet and then we are going to double crochet in each of these stitches across. And this is your second row and, and now chain one and turn and we will continue with our third row and in this third row we start creating the trellis layer on top of this pattern and uh, to do that we will be using front post trebles um, okay so I'll show you how to make a front post treble um, first uh, we need to count stitches on the first row in a row of single crochet so we are going to skip um, to a single crochet and around the third single crochet in round one we will create the from cross treble and to do that yarn over twice insert your hook around the stitch of that uh, single crochet um, in the first row okay so this is right here from front to back and yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over pull through two loops on hook yarn over pull through two loops on hook and yarn over and pull up through two loops on hook and this is a from post um, treble. Now because we already created a stitch right here we need to skip the first stitch in uh, our uh, round row and then make three single crochet next we will make a front post treble two together and that uh, means that we are going to crochet two front post trebles into one. So we need first to create the, fro uh, the two front post trebles and to do that yarn over twice and then we will work around the post of the single crochet we previously worked in. So insert your hook around that post again like so. Then yarn over and pull up a loop, a loop. Then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two again. And we will leave this incomplete treble on our hook and crochet the next from post treble. Uh, and to do that, we need to skip three single crochet in a first row. 
these three and around the fourth one we will crochet the front post treble so yarn over twice and insert your hook around that fourth single crochet stitch like so and yarn over and pull up a long loop and now let's make the treble yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now we have two incomplete uh, trebles and we are going to crochet the two together so yarn over and pull through all three and this is how you make a uh, front post treble two together stitch now we have this stitch uh, made here on top which is detached from the rest of the row and that means we need to skip the stitch right behind it and then go into the next stitch and make a single crochet and then continue and make a single crochet in the next two so three single crochet and this is your repeat section for this pattern making two uh, making from pause treble two together it's a long name <laughs> but it's quite simple i promise you it gets simple um, easier from this point on uh, so uh, from post treble two together skip the stitch behind it and make three single crochet and repeat this section until you have two stitches left in your row so let's make uh, another repeat so yarn over twice work around the previous work single crochet post so insert your hook in the same uh, around the same post yarn over pull up a loop and I will make the incomplete treble by yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we make the next from post treble yarn over twice skip three single crochet in a row one and then around the fourth one make your um, next from post treble so insert your hook behind and around that post and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we have two trebles let's crochet them together now we have the stitch right here detached from the row so skip this next stitch and make three single crochet and just repeat that until you have two stitches left And skip three and around the fourth one pull the loop make your incomplete treble then crochet your trebles together skip the stitch behind and make three single crochet and again yarn over twice around the previous stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two leave the incomplete treble yarn over twice skip this three single crochet go into the fourth one around it like so and then you uh, pull up the loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now with these two incomplete trebles on your hook yarn over pull through two uh, through three uh, loops on your hook and again skip one skip this one make your three single crochet and now we have reached the end of the row and we have two stitches left so we have this stitch and the chain three and uh, now we only need to make one um, one treble and complete the uh, row so make a front post uh, front post uh, treble yarn over twice and just go in the previous worked uh, single crochet yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that completes uh, this pattern 
uh, you skip uh, skip the stitch behind and single crochet in the last stitch which is the chain 3 uh, that you previously made so make a single crochet and this is the third row and uh, from this point on it gets a lot easier you don't need to count any stitches it's all done for you this is the hardest part where you have to make sure you are skipping the correct amount of stitches in round one but once you finish with round three you can continue so let's continue with round uh, four turn your work and chain three and uh, double crochet in the next stitch and across and this is your fourth row and then oh, now we are going to chain one enter and continue and we are going to uh, single crochet in the first two stitches so make a single crochet in each of the next two stitches and now we are starting to connect the um, front post trebles to each other and to do that we are going to uh, front post treble two together and this time we are not counting uh, stitches we are just going to crochet them around these posts uh, that we already crocheted in so you already have them here you don't need to count so yarn over twice and insert your hook around the front post treble from previous row so right around it like so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and leave your uh, incomplete um, front post treble on your hook uh, next let's make another incomplete treble so yarn over twice and just insert your hook between the two uh, front post treble pro from previous row you see just between the two of them and yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we have the two incomplete uh, from post treble we are going to um, yarn over and pull through the three loops on hook and this is how it looks like so we've created this stitch which is detached from the main part of work so we will have to skip that stitch and make three single crochet and this is your repeat section uh, from this uh, from post treble two together uh, to skip uh, skip the stitch behind and make three single crochet until the end of the row so let's continue yarn over twice insert your hook around these two posts that you previously worked in these two trebles you don't need to insert it in the single crochet uh, stitch anymore it's around the trebles from this point on yarn over pull up a long loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two now we leave the incomplete treble on a hook and make another treble around the next uh, two posts so insert your hook behind and just pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now you have two incomplete trebles yarn over pull through all three we made a stitch so skip the stitch and make three single crochet There you go and now again yarn over twice insert your hook around these two posts two rows below pull up a loop yarn over through two yarn over pull through two then 
Yarn over again twice, insert the hook into the next, around the next two front post trebles. Pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. And now we crochet them all together, yarn over pull through all three. Skip the stitch behind and make three single crochet. And again, around the two trebles, you already worked in. And then yarn over and around the next two trebles you worked in. And now we crochet the all three together. Skip the stitch and make three single crochet. And now last one, last repeat, yarn over twice, pull up a loop around those two posts, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, then yarn over twice again, and now you only have one treble, so insert your hook around it, and pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, and then pull through all three, skip the stitch, and make three single crochet. And your last single crochet is in the chain 3 that you made in a previous row. And this is your round 5. And now you see uh, the top layer, the trellis, the diamonds. You see the space in between. It's like a top layer on top of this crocheted piece. So let's continue. Um, turn and chain three and the next row is just a double crochet row so that means double crochet in the next stitch and across and this is your uh, row six complete and uh, next we will go uh, on and continue with row 7 and row 7 is similar to row 3 except we are not uh, making the front post around the single crochet stitches we are making the front post around the previous front post all right so um, let's continue um, next we are making a front post treble around these two posts below so yarn over, insert your hook around the both posts, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And that is a completed uh, front post treble. Now because we already created this stitch here, we will skip the first stitch and continue into the next one and make three single crochet. We will make a front post treble two together. So yarn over twice, insert your hook around the previous uh, two front post trebles, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and leave your incomplete treble on a hook. Then uh, we are going into the next um, uh, two front post trebles. And yarn over twice and insert the hook around them. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now we have the two incomplete ones. Yarn over and pull through. All right, so like I said before, uh, we created this stitch, so that means we skip this stitch. Insert the hook into the next one and make single crochet. We need three of them. So make three single crochet in total and this is your uh, repeat section of um, front post treble two together skip the stitch behind uh, make three single crochet and repeat this until you have two stitches left so let's do that And 
do a from post treble two together skip the stitch behind make three single crochet and another from post treble two together Keep the stitch behind and make three single crochet. And another front post, treble two together. And now together. Skip the stitch behind, go into the next and make three single crochet. And now we have two stitches left, which is this stitch right here, the double crochet and the chain three that we made. And now we are going to make just one front post treble, like so. So we complete this one from start to finish. Because we made a stitch, we skip the stitch and single crochet in the last stitch, which is your chain three. So it's the top chain. And this is your pattern. And now to continue and make this as big as you like, uh, as uh, long as you like, repeat the last four uh, rows. Uh, rows four five six and seven and repeat those until you have the required uh, length and this is it this is how you crochet the diamond stitch as you can see it's got a beautiful texture and it's flat on the back so that makes it perfect for bags or for garments uh, it looks beautiful on baby blankets and afghans I hope you found my tutorial easy to follow. If you have any questions, uh, please ask them in the comments below. I try and answer every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crocheting!